Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Sarita and I have one candle for you today and this is from Bath & Body Works. It is Sugared Lemon and Spice and it was in this um, Neutrals collection. Um, it's not the most evocative color but um, I love the Neutrals packaging. I just think it's fantastic, it's cool, it's sophisticated, it's sexy um and i like the neutral aspect to it do i think it could have been a different color yeah especially because the lemon is a bright color spice could have been a little bit more spicy looking you know what i mean like even a brick red would have been really nice on this i don't know the neutrals candles of late have been kind of phoned in and i don't know why so really beautiful but it's fine, it's fine the way that it is. It just looks so like, bleh. Um, this is a candle that came out in the first wave of fall candles and I thought it smelled pretty gross. I bought it initially and, but really just to kind of say, hey, I've got it, you know? And then I didn't like the way it smelled on cold and so I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm returning this. And then I ran across a review before, I mean, it sat by my front door, which is where I keep like my bag of return candles. And then Greg from All About Candles did a review of it and thought it was really fantastic, surprisingly. And we do share some, a lot of scent preferences. Um, and he said it performed like a champ as well. And so I thought, oh, what the heck? I'll go ahead and burn it up. So what I initially didn't like about it is that, oh, even now, I just don't like the way it smells on cold. There's this like very Bath & Body Works citrus, candied citrus all up in your face kind of note, which is not my favorite. Um, it's not the most fresh or authentic smelling lemon. That said, I have smelled worse lemons. Um, it doesn't quite go effervescent, but I would say that it goes candied. It's like a candied lemon and, and as, but by candied lemon, I don't mean like a lemon peel that has been candied. I'm talking about like a straight up, like hard candy kind of lemon. Um, Oh, I just don't like it. I still don't like it. Um, and then the back spices seem fairly nice. Um, it, it's a lot of cinnamon clove, heavy clove, lighter cinnamon. It doesn't go red hot, thank God. And I think there's a good amount of ginger in this. And although the ginger is not listed. Oh, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay, so the notes are sh lemon zest, fresh cardamom, and sugar ginger. Yeah. Why did I not think the ginger wasn't listed? It's a lot of ginger and a lot of clove underneath the candied lemon. But for me, it was just the candied lemon was a no-go. It was absolutely not. This is not me. I've said this a million times on this channel. There are a million different ways that a lemon note can go wrong in home fragrance. And very few lemon notes that succeed and that are pleasant. Um, I did not think this was going to be one of them, but I gave it a second chance because of Greg. And I am so glad that I did. Thank you, Greg. This was a fantastic candle. As you can see, my little wick has migrated here and he was the last one to extinguish, but I burned this all the way down to the wick clips. It did burn beautifully. It got a little bit dark, you know? Um, so there was some sooting, but for the amount of volume that this candle got and the fact that it's a neutrals candle, um, it really did not bad in terms of the sooting. These, do you guys remember like maybe a year ago, a half a year ago, maybe a little bit more, almost every single neutrals candle would dud out and soot like an, like you know what? You know what I mean? Like it was crazy dirty and you could not get through them. And I would say up to 80% of the neutrals candles burned terribly, 
terribly. Have you noticed quietly that the neutrals that they're putting forward now are not as bad? Yeah. I think they're I think they're starting to get it. And what I appreciate is that this candle had such high volume in terms of strength and throw and was still not crazy sooty. So that is that is the sweet spot. That's the sweet spot because here's the thing. Um, most companies have to, to mitigate the amount of soot, mo many companies have started cutting the paraffin with more soy because the soy is cleaner than the paraffin is, all things being equal. The thing about it is the heavier soy your wax formula is, the less strength and throw that you have. And it, 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 it changes the fragrance too. So it's harder to get basier fragrances, for instance, with soy. Um, and the fragrance tends to be inconsistent as well. So I don't think that the soy formulas hold the fragrance quite as evenly as the paraffin does so that you get huge variations sometimes in terms of strength and throw from top to bottom. So there's a lot of reasons, there's a lot of detractions, which are often not mentioned by the way, <laughs> by the advocates of soy. There's a lot of trade-offs that come with a heavy soy formula. Um, and the, the, the main benefit is a cleaner burn. Um, for me personally, and I've not been shy about this on this channel, for me personally, um, I'll take the soot your burn because I think that all the other trade-offs for me are not worth it. They're just not worth it. However, however, I do receive, I do accept that there is a bell curve and I do think that you can tweak your paraffin, especially if you don't have a particularly sophisticated or expensive or thoughtful paraffin blend, if you can cut it with some soy, get the sooting down, but stop before all those other side effects um, start really expressing themselves, yes, in a negative way, you just have to find that really sweet spot. And I'm hoping that Bath & Body Works is doing that. I said at the beginning of the year, remember when all of the candles, really, I mean, the majority of the Bath & Body Works candles the first half of the year were much weaker than they have been, like demonstrably weaker. And we were all kind of like, where's the strength and throw at Bath & Body Works? I do think they have been experimenting with their formula. And I do think they've been cutting with a lot of soy in the first half of the year. I'm starting to see the strength and throw slowly start to write itself. And I think, again, that's some trial and error on Bath & Body Works part. I love to see these neutrals performing better, but what I like even better is that the strength and throw for at least some of them is still there. This sugared lemon and spice was there. This candle was solidly in the seven to eight range every single time it was burned. It had that like paraffin-like consistency where you didn't light it up and think to yourself, are we gonna get strength and throw today? Are we gonna have to wait for three hours before we can smell it? There was none of that like variation and variability that I've come to kind of expect from a heavy soy formula. This one performed much more like a paraffin forward kind of formula. Um, very consistent, fairly loud, and especially in the second half of the candle, fairly bassy, which means that there was probably a good amount of paraffin in this formula, but at the same time, kept the sooting at bay and never dudded out. So really a very strong performance. Was it perfect? No, but was it great? And all the things that I care about were front and center? Yes. I don't mind a little bit of soot. I really don't. <laughs> What I don't like is dudding out, and what I absolutely don't like is no strength and throw, because friends, what's the point? I don't even care that I spent $10. Every candle that I pay for, whether I pay 10 or whether I pay 34, I want strength and throw, and this one had it. This one had it in spades. The fragrance ended up being much better than I thought it was going to be because that candied lemon that kind of comes right out at you when you open up the jar, 
softens up considerably and sinks down into the candle a little bit. And it's perfect because what really comes to the fore is the spices. The spices are what amplify and the lemon just kind of, I don't know, like, highlights the spices and adds this kind of brightness to it the way that it should without really taking center stage because the spices here are much better. Those spice notes are much better and more authentic than whatever lemon they're using. So really what came out strongly was the clove, the cinnamon, and the ginger, especially the ginger. And as I started burning it, especially into the like the second half of the candle, it got pretty bassy, and it may have been partly like the carbon residue or whatever, maybe a touch smoky, and it actually started smelling very much like cozy Sunday night. So I pulled Sunday uh, cozy Sunday night out of my storage. Guys, do you remember this package? Was this not amazing? How amazing is this package? And I remember when people dragged this packaging, dragged it, like, oh, I don't like the wood. I think it looks stupid, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just, I think there are some people who will just complain no matter what it is Bath & Body Works does. I, from the very beginning, I thought this was fantastic. And they had various different wood grains in that collection. I thought this was one of the nicest and most natural wood grains. And it was so perfect for Cozy Sunday Night because... I think that there is an unlisted like cedar note in this candle and it just was so perfect with like a warm cedar like kind of like tone in the candle with that like brass, brushed brass. Oh, just so beautiful. All right, so the notes on this are warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger and vanilla bean. Um, so there's definitely cinnamon and ginger and probably some vanilla. But this has a very deep roasted graham cracker kind of note. And then also I think a wood nuance underneath goes very bassy. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous candle. And I do believe that the spice concoction that they've used here is the same spice concoction that they've used here. Very, very similar, except that they here they have substituted lemon instead of the more bassy roasty notes of like graham cracker and cedar. But I think the spice notes, which is a great part of both candles, are the same. So in that sense, very similar to Cozy Sunday Night, but just a bit brighter and fresher. And this ended up being a gorgeous transitional candle. Whereas this is much more of a deep fall candle. This is kind of an early fall candle and fantastic for September through early, or um, late August through early September. So it ended up being like released at exactly the right moment that it should have been. And is really a beautiful candle. And in fact, so beautiful. I'm sitting here with a bag. Friends, I bought another one. I bought another one. And I'm so happy to burn this one as well. Um, uh, do I like Cozy Sunday Night a little bit better? Yeah, I do. I love the wood and I love the deepness and I love the coziness of it. But honestly, I was so pleasantly surprised by this candle and I appreciated the way that the lemon notes transformed upon it being burned. So that while I still don't like it on cold, burned, it smells just right just right. Those lemon notes come across exactly where they should. No higher, no more synthetic. It just really like balances the way that it needs to once it's burned. And those amazing ginger spices come out and it just, it was like a lighter baby sister of Cozy Sunday Night. So if you love Cozy Sunday Night, I really encourage you to pick up this candle. And if you passed on it, because like me, you didn't like the way that it smelled on cold, just keep in your mind that like, it actually does smell much better once it's burned. And I know there are a lot of you out there who will try almost any candle, so long as it's in that seven to eight range. Because if you're like me, you just want a candle that you can smell and that is reliable, right? And predictable in its volume and in its fragrance profile. And I'm so happy to say that this one did that. And I agree with Greg, it is a pleasant surprise. 
and it's not getting the attention that it absolutely deserves. So I hope that this helps. And the next time there's a candle sale, I'm sure that there will still be one on the floor or online. Pick one up and try it. I think you're really, really going to like it, especially if you like Cozy Sunday Night. So I will link all of that down below. And it makes me so happy to have like a very pleasant surprise here from Bath & Body Works. I've not loved a lot of their candles this year. And I think there have been some real misses, especially some of their limited editions, including the very last, well, actually both rounds of Stranger Things. So Bath & Body Works has been due for something to like kind of really knock out of the park. I don't know that this is a best new candle and I don't know that it's like gonna change my life, but it's very close. It's very close to a best new candle. Really fantastic. A bit above average, a little bit above just a decent candle. It's a little bit more, it's better than decent. So I'm really happy with it. I hope it wasn't just like a, like a, a fluke that I got one that performed so well and that did so well because Greg liked it too. So I think, I think this is a good, I think this is, I think you can gamble on this one. I think it's a good bet. So there you go. Oh, what else do I have in this bag? Oh, together weather. I need to, I need to burn one of these. This smells really, really good. I've never burned one. Oh, and then I got cozy Sunday night. Yes. I mean, it's an okay package, but like, you know what I mean? This is even better. God bless. Yeah. All right, that's what I've got for you, my friends. Check it out the next time you're in the store. And I'll catch you in the next one.